how can this book contribute to the discussions going on in, in ICLEI this week? Um, how can it support the work that practitioners, policymakers, and other stakeholders uh, do on the ground in cities? What the book could, could uh, <clears throat> do is actually to serve as a source of inspiration, how you actually could work uh, with very different perspectives or coming from very different knowledge systems or having uh, very different experiences. I think the book would provide some uh, really interesting, exa inspiring examples of how that, that is possible and, uh, and the outcome that could be uh, really exciting of, of like this arena of innovation when people from very different backgrounds come together and decide that they want to come up with a solution and, and to bring their different experiences and, and knowledge together. Uh, I think that's very exciting uh, for ICLE. I also think it's exciting for Future Earth in, in terms of how to develop um, an approach for a new type of knowledge generation that would actually generate the type of knowledge needed for solving uh, all these problems and coming up with, with solutions. So I think it's uh, a book of inspiration and uh, a book that also contains a lot of experiences from different walks of life that uh, people could take on, whether you're a planner or you're a policymaker or you're a scientist or, or you're activist or an artist, there, there's something for everyone. Uh, not, I mean, for me, the Ikki World Congress has always been a meeting on my calendar that I never miss, and because it's one of the real spaces that local government has in all of its diversity, discuss a number of diverse topics. I mean, today we had a researcher symposium, people were talking about urban nature, other were talking about pro uh, procurement. Um, in this afternoon's plenary, we were foresighting the future and, and the roles we, we might play. And I think this, this book is, is, is a real tool against the othering that we're seeing happening in the world, where, you know, the other needs to be rejected and removed from the debate. As Thomas says, I think there are people here who can identify. They're practitioners, artists. They, there's a way into the debate. We've opened up a variety of windows through this book. And I think this book is part of a new set of activities that we're seeing happening where we're convening meetings, writing books, where we're actively encouraging the agency of different communities to come together to create something new. And I think this is what the book does not only provides windows into a complex debate, allows people that kind of access, but by bringing that diversity together, it creates something new. And I think that's important because every voice, every person has come to Montreal not to hear the same old thing again, mm. but to create something new. And I think that's important. So it removes the othering, it acknowledges and values diversity, but importantly brings that together to create something new in the debate. And I think that's what we're all reaching for. If we're going to transform the world, you're not going to do it by doing the same things over and over again. So that to me is the value. Uh, I love that. And just, just to, add, to add that, I think what's special about this conversation here and, and Ickley's role in all of this is that there's been a lot of people working very hard for a long time on this, right? And, and ICLEI has been an organization that has been leading on that for decades on trying to put this together and, and the, at, to, kind of to Timon's point, the, the pragmatic nature of cities forces one to recognize these interconnected systems and the change that, that is occurring and that needs to happen. But I'm very heartened, and uh, I, what I think is exciting, and one of my key takeaways from this book, um, which is a really good signal of things to come, is that this isn't an isolated issue now. Everybody around the world in these different sectors and spaces are all recognizing the interconnected nature and that we, to Deborah's point, must do things differently. Um, that that came through very clearly in the last few years in in the non um, the non actor space and in the climate world. It also shone through very loudly in the city's IPCC conference that we had in Edmonton. Uh, it's also being reflected in the Innovate for Cities agenda, the Global Covenant of Mayors, uh, and it's very much echoed throughout this book by you seeing so many different people from so many different walks of life saying more or less the same message. We need to think differently about these things, and we need to we need to engage and incentivize. Uh, these, these stakeholders in, in wholly new ways. Excellent. And yeah, so the book is available for free to download on, um, well, it's open access. You can just go on cambridge.org. Thank you for.
for coming and uh, yeah, thank you again for the book. Okay.